Hello everybody, I'm Trix33, and this is my trigger cooldown system. So if we're to click, this block here is going to move to the right, and the cooldown message at the top is going to go from false to true, and it's going to stay true for about one second. It's going to stay cooling down for about one second. So if we click, moves over there, the cooldown turns to true, and if you try clicking while it's cooling down, you can see it just, it doesn't listen. It doesn't move, it doesn't do anything. And it only works when it's false, when it's not cooling down. And you can use this to do just about anything. And I'm going to show you how to set it up here and how it all works. We first want to get any trigger here that can spawn something. So a spawn trigger will work, a touch trigger will work. Just anything that in this info section says will also function as a spawn trigger. And we're going to set this to any unused ID with toggle on. And then we're going to place a instant count trigger that's going to have the same ID that we gave it. So in this case, one. Give it one. You got it. And then we want a new item ID. So if you don't know what this does, you've never used this trigger before, just ignore this and make it one. You also want to make sure it's spawn triggered, multi-triggered, and activating the group. This is telling it to be activated by this guy and to activate something else. And what this is going to do is it's going to check this invisible value of on this item ID here. And if it's zero, it's going to activate, let's say group ID two. And then we're gonna need three more triggers. Two pickup triggers, a spawn trigger, and then whenever you want to have a cooldown. So since we used move last time, let's use pulse on this block. And now that this has two, we're gonna give this, this, and this group ID two. And we're gonna want all of these to be spawn multi. Spawn, multi. Uh, spawn, multi. And that lets these triggers know to be activated by this guy. And so, once we have that done, we're going to make this guy be item ID 1, count 1. And what this is saying is, hey, whenever you click, this value is 0. You're going to activate these three, and this guy is going to set the value to 1, so it's not going to do anything. And then... We're going to give this guy a new group ID with a delay of however long you want the cooldown to be. So in this case, let's say, I don't know, uh, like 0.5 seconds. And then we're going to give this trigger here the group ID that this guy has. So in this case, it'll be 3. And then make him spawn multi, item ID 1, negative 1. Do the same thing over here. Just going to give this like a color, I don't know, just like that. Maybe make it group ID like four and give this four. And so what this is going to do is when the, you click, it's going to check if this value is zero. And if it is zero, it's going to activate the trigger that you want. Make the pickup trigger set the value to one so it'll no longer work. And after half a second or however long you want, it's going to set it back to zero and work again. And if we have this all set up correctly, when we click, it's going to pulse. And if we try to spam it, it's not going to work. It's really cool, actually. And you can see up at the top, it's communicating perfectly with this little thing I set up here. You won't actually, like, have this or anything. I just set up a little guy up here to uh, give you a little more visual representation. And to show this one more time, let's give it uh, alpha. And then you're going to be, I don't know, group ID 2, right? Maybe on group ID 4, just like this guy is. Make sure it's spawn multi. And then make this like lower opacity. You can see when you click it, it starts doing it. It's great. It's amazing. And that essentially is my trigger cooldown system. You can use anything here, just about anything here. Just make sure this is a spawn trigger. And this is what you want to activate. Good luck using this in any level that you want. And I'll see you next time.